I like to play with colour in the landscape. It just gives people a different way of looking at the landscapes by putting something a little bit alien in them. Steve Messam is the architect of ruins. He's installed a new free exhibition at Kilwick Lead Mining Museum, which he hopes will show old redundant structures in a new light. These are kind of ordinary bits of buildings, uh, which are usually so ordinary you kind of go past them and you don't kind of notice them. Um, and I just wanted them to have their moment, so I created artworks within the buildings to temporarily transform them into fantastical follies within the landscape, just to highlight the roles that they play in the landscape, but get people to look at them and think about them. There are six giant billboards dotted around the site. That's the whole kind of surrealness that I want, is that kind of art. So this is wall, um, and this is on a retaining wall that goes through a spoil heap in a former lead mine in Teesdale. It's very big, isn't it? You love big art, don't you? Yeah, well, when you're working in the landscape, you've got to kind of work on the landscape scale of things. So you have to kind of use those kind of rules. It actually looks like you've just stuffed a duvet in there. Yeah, it's kind of, I wanted it to kind of look like it was kind of oozing out. Now that's an old winding house around three miles from here. And that inflatable was put in it about a year ago for just one hour. A photograph was taken and then it was removed, which begs the question, if an artwork appears on the landscape and no one sees it, did it really happen? Philosophical pondering aside, the idea behind this commission is to show the world that Durham is a county of diverse culture. I really love seeing exhibitions in surprising places and this is an exhibition by an internationally renowned artist who's local and is shining a light on places that maybe we don't know about but are part of our landscape, part of our history, part of our culture and I think seeing work of artists at sites like Killip is a really important part of the bid for the City of Culture 2025. But for now it's a question of simply inspiring visitors to reconsider their surroundings. I just want them to kind of just contemplate things that they might overlook and look at them afresh um, and it's just a different perspective on uh, particularly local people what things that they might have just taken for granted in the landscape and get them to, to think again about them and, and what it means and, and, and how they become part of what the landscape is. This supersized reinvention of the landscape will be on display until the 12th of September. It's your one and only chance to see the familiar with the unfamiliar which magically appeared then disappeared.